So in this video, I want to just give a very simple introduction to how to create your own user-defined functions in Excel using the macro language that's built into Excel, Visual Basic for Applications, or VBA. So this is fairly simple. Again, VBA lets us do this. It's actually built into all the Office applications, but we're just going to talk about it. In, for Excel, it has a built-in editor. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, I'm using, you know, Excel 2007 with the ribbon and all that stuff. So um, things will be a little bit different if you have an older version of Excel, but everything pretty much works the same way. Just some of the things are in different locations. Um, and the basic idea behind a function is it takes in a bunch of arguments as inputs and then returns one value to a cell. So once you define your function, you call it from within a cell, sending arguments, and then expect to have a return value. And again, I'll show you an example in a bit. So I needed a problem to work on, so I did a little projectile problem. So we assume um, that we throw uh, some kind of baseball or something with some initial velocity v and at some angle. And according to the red line, you know, you'll get this parabolic um, trajectory and there's some fairly basic equations that govern that we can just build some functions that help us reproduce that so here's the equations uh, the first equation is for y that's the height of the ball at any time and it depends on the initial vertical component of the velocity and the gravitational acceleration uh, X is the horizontal position of the ball at any time, and it just depends on the horizontal velocity, the initial horizontal component of the velocity. The initial Y component is the initial velocity V0 times sine of the angle at which you threw it. The initial X component is the initial velocity times the cosine of the angle at which you threw it. And then one thing that's handy to know is if, if you are throwing it on a level surface, um, the time it takes to hit the ground is 2 times the initial vertical velocity over the gravitational acceleration. So we can use that to decide how long to to do our plot or calculation. So I want to have a function for the x position, the y position, and the end, the time at which it hits the ground. So this is just the y position function, so I repeat the formula here. We want to send the initial velocity and the angle at which we threw the ball and um, the time and get back a y value. So we type function. So all functions of VBA start with the word function and then you give a name of the function and this is the name with which we'll call it from a cell. I call it y pos POS for y position. And the arguments are the velocity, the angle, and time. Okay, so then I define the gravitational acceleration here in SI units. I calculate my initial velocity from uh, in the y direction from the initial velocity total and the and the angle. And then I calculate my position, the vertical position, as v y naught minus g times t. Okay, so the key here is that I have to have a variable in here that matches the name of the function, and whatever that variable is when the function is completed. Um, gets sent back to Excel and dumped in the cell or wherever it was called from. Uh, there's a you know a lot of details to this language, the VBA language. There's loops and all sorts of things you can do. I, I'm just I don't have time here to show you that. I just want to make a basic introduction. So this is our simple function. There's a simpler a similar one for the x position and an even simpler one for the time that we hit the ground. So the process for um, doing this is you open the VBA editor. Uh, it usually is not prepared to take uh, input, so you have to say click, and then you have to click insert slash module or insert module, and it'll open up a little blank editing window. Then you can type in your function. Um, once it's typed in, you go back to the worksheet. You don't even have to save. You just go straight back. It's live, and you can use that function right away. Uh, one thing to note is that these functions will generally be saved with the worksheet. So if you close that worksheet, you don't have access to those functions from somewhere else. But also, if you share that worksheet with somebody, you're also sharing the macro and things will be done consistently. There are ways to make 
a macro always available um, again that's sort of beyond the scope of this um, and then once you have it defined you just call it like any other um, function that was built into Excel now let me just show you how this works so I set up a little sheet I put in a velocity and an angle in degrees we actually need the angle and radian so I calculate that um, and then right here I calculate the time at which we get to the end that is the time when the, the ball hits the ground so you can see here I call the TN function and the arguments are B1 which is the velocity and D2 which is the angle in radians okay so I send those two to the routine and I get back the end time which in this case is 0.72 seconds so then I said I want 21 points um, so then I need 20 steps uh, so I divide this by 20 and this is the time step and then I use these to make a plot so now down here I just list times incrementing by that time step and then the x position depends on the initial velocity the angle and radians and then the time which is here and the y position depends on the same and then I just copy those down and I get uh, a set of x and y values as a function of time and here's the plot of y versus x and you can see it just hits the ground just like we want now let's see how you enter these formulas so um, first of all you have to make sure that you have the ability to do this so you need to go up this little office button here and go to Excel options and then you see right here show developer tab in the ribbon so if you do that um, click that then you'll be able to see a developer tab and then you'll be able to get the VBA editor if you're using an older version of Excel I think you just go to tools and VBA editor or something like that and you can you can do it okay so I have the developer ribbon already so it's right here I click this and over here on the left you see visual basic that'll open up the editor so here's the editor um, the module is here I've already done insert module and um, typed in the functions right so you just type in the function as I had it on the on the little sheet and then you're ready to go okay so um, that's all there is to it you type these in then you can click this little Excel tab here it gets you back to the sheet and then you can use those formulas as as you see so there's this T end a B B1 D2 and you'll notice that I had to find a function called T end and I called it from there and it worked fine um, and then again this T end variable has to match that and then you're all set so that's about it so um, these things can be pretty complicated if you want it's up to you um, but all in all uh, if you use these I think it can really make sheets more readable it's much easier to call a simple function like this from a cell and and understand what's going on rather than using very complicated formulas that go on for line after line within a single cell so I think these make um, sheets more readable and for that I really appreciate having access to them that's about it